Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing the problem a pin for or from code shift starter 73. Uh, the problem states that chef has an array A of length n and he wants to append a non-negative integer x to the array A such that the bitwise or of the entire array. So now y is also append, uh, like x is also appended to the end. So it would uh, like when I, we're, when we're talking about the entire array, even y, uh, even x would get considered. So the bitwise uh, or of the entire array should become y. So yeah, they have given the expression below. So we have to find the minimum possible value of x. Now, how do we do a uh, like proceed with this question? So let me explain the solution. So very simple observation is that we uh, since we are taking a or or op operation. So if any bit is set, let's say any bit is set at the zeroth index or any index that is already present. I'm not talking about the x that we are going to append, right? So I'm talking about the initially available array. So if any of the bit is set in this array, right, that bit needs to always be set in Y itself because if a bit is set in the array, I cannot make it unset. So if it's uh, if a bit is one, I cannot make that bit zero. So let's say the bit as at the second uh, location. So bit at the second location basically means the bit required to make two to power two or four, right? So if that bit is set, then there's no way I can make it zero because in an OR operation, even a single one makes the whole ex uh, whole expression as one, right? So that is my first observation. So this uh, this can be a test to uh, detect possibilities where answer is not possible. So in case I'm able to find any such bit, which is not set in my answer, but is set in the initial array, right? In that case, I can simply return minus one or print minus one, right? So how do we print the answer? A simple answer would he here be y itself. Because now we know that no extra bit is set in the array. So I can OR the array with y and my answer would be y. This would be a valid answer. However, in the question they have specified that the answer should be minimum, right? It should be minimum. So we can't use this because if we are using this, then there is no guarantee that the answer would be minimum or not. Yeah, definitely the answer would be maximum, but it uh, like there's no guarantee of it being minimum as well. So what we can do? So what we can do is that we can traverse for all the elements in this array. We can check for all the bits that are set in it, right? And we can check for all the bits are, that are not set in this. So let's say mm, the array is uh, uh, 3, 2, and let's say 1 itself. Right, so this is your array, and your value of y is basically one 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 one, right, or even one one one. So your y is seven, your uh, and your array is this. So two, one, uh, three, two, and one. So now, what you can say is that okay, the bi a bit at the first location is set. That's done. That's uh, actually getting set by the elements at the 0th and the first index the bit at the okay I'm calculate okay so bit at the 0th location is also set so that's getting set at the second location element and the 0th location element so that's also set what about the bit at the second location is it set it's not set but it's set in the y right so I'll have to, uh, like the answer I'm gonna produce should contain this bit set so this should be my answer I hope that made sense. So this is all we have to implement. So let me get to the code. Cool. So where's the code for this? Yeah, I have the kid, uh, code right over here. So initially I'm doing that check. So I'm calculating the OR of the entire array, right? And then I'm ORing it by Y. So I'm saying that the entire array, if I'm taking an OR of it, and I'm taking the OR of Y itself, even still if I'm not getting a Y, that means my array actually had some extra bit set. So now I have to print minus one. This is the basic case I'm checking. If this is not the case, the answer would definitely exist because I can set other bits, but I cannot set unset any bit. So now I'm taking initially my answer to be equal to zero. Then for all the bits I'm checking, if, a, if there's a bit that is like uh, not set in my array and it's set in my final answer, in that case, I'll have to set that bit in the result or the number I'm gonna like t uh, tell chef. So I'm uh, setting that bit up and at then I'm producing my result over here itself. 
yeah cool guys so that was it for the uh, for the video uh, i observed a lot of questions came from uh, like bit a bit a bit manipulations in code chef as well as code forces so i do plan to make a video soon on this topic just stay connected whenever uh, like maybe you should uh, hit the bell, bell icon or whatever you want to do because whenever i make a video on this uh, i plan on covering all of these concepts so whenever i made a make a video on this i'm trying to cover uh, bitwise manipulation the basic bitwise manipulations um, tricks and several tips also would be covering the stl for this tips and stl so that should be uh, pretty helpful if you want to learn bits overall so yeah, that's it for the video that's it about the update if you have any other requests or you want me to make a video on any other topic please let me know in the comment section below thanks a lot guys